We could set the clocks by you, Mr. Holmes. Regular in small things only. And when my brother arrives, please send him in. Very good, sir. million souls in London, Watson, and not one of them needs my services. An entire week without work. It's intolerable. Absolutely unendurable. Perhaps I can find something diverting in my room. At least I'll escape your censorious glances. Holmes, I protest. Your personal habits are no concern of mine. Stuff and nonsense, Doctor. Your eyes tell a different story, as if I'd stolen from the alms box. Enter. This just came for you, Mr. Holmes. By bonded messenger, no less. Thank you, Mrs. Hudson. You are a treasure. Hello, it's from my brother. This is most welcome. Please join me at the Diogenes. I require your energy, judgment, and discretion, M. A rather brief note to elicit such a smile. Whatever can he want? Who knows? He's as furtive as a Freemason and as ingenious as Babbage. But a chat with Mycroft at his club is sure to be diverting. He may have work, or he may need help identifying a rare tobacco. Grab your hat, Doctor. We're off to one of the queerest spots in London. Lead on, Holmes. Good evening, gentlemen. Mr. Holmes is expecting you. Thank you, Forbes. Mycroft, mortally injured on account of a gas leak. Such accidents don't happen to people one knows. When I read careless match levels, five flats in Camden Town, or omnibus splatter six in the Brixton Road, those unfortunate persons are known only to God. I defy you to name a single soul who has been victimized in this ridiculous fashion. Lestrade says such explosions are the price of progress. I suppose he has a point. Mycroft, on his deathbed at Bart, sacrificed at the altar of progress? The inspector is insensitive and a congenital idiot. Calm yourself, Holmes. Perhaps your brother will disprove the diagnosis. Why do you suppose he asked you to the Diogenes? Perhaps he enjoys my company. Some people do. It was as likely a trivial matter as something momentous. He was like that. Should we try to discover the cause of his summons? What possible significance can it have to me, or to him? He is lost to me. Forgive me, Watson. I prefer solitude just now. I have no heart for work.
I'm no good for use or ornament. I'll find a way to distract your grief, my friend. Perhaps the Strad has some work for us. This much is certain, London always suffers from your idleness, and you are a danger to yourself. <laughs>